so our next topic is material type customizing so what is material type so as we have seen in the previous topics that whenever we create a material we need to select a type okay so type can be a raw material it can be a finished goods it can be a trading goods it can be a semi finished goods so in this topic we're going to see what are the customizing behind those material types and what are their effects so the topics that we're going to cover they are customize new material types material number range assignment and field selection control so first of all we'll start with a business example one of your company's plant produces a lot of different materials which are then transported to other plants for use in the manufacturing of other products the master record of these materials are to be created with their own material type the new material type is to be defined as a combination of the type raw which is raw material and half which is semi finished materials your project team has also decided to use a separate number range for the new material type so that means you're working on a project and you may be asked to create a new types of material depending on some special requirements okay and that type doesn't exist in standard sap so in this topic we're going to learn how you can customize your own material types and what are their attributes material type so again we'll start practical here so i show you again whenever you create a material say mm01 if i want to create a material i need to select a material type here okay so like most of the time in earlier we use raw materials we also you used a finished product which is ferd like that and every material type has something customizing some um, attributes attributes or some setup behind the screen so let us see the customizing of this uh, material type so if i go to spro and use this menu path we have we have um, logistic journal and material master and here you have basic settings and material types and define attribute of material types so if i open this here so here you can see all those material types that you can see in the drop down of mm01 for example for finished product i can select that and i can go into the detail here okay so in this screen i'm going to show you what are the different types of um, attributes or the customizing that you can create for the material type so here you can see for fert okay first of all fert this has this description okay so there are so many fields here i'll just i'll just showing you the important fields for rest of them if you're interested you can press f1 and see the details so there's a description of the product which is finished product and here you can see it has a field reference which is fert if i open this drop down you can again see some other reference now i'll talk about the field reference uh, in the today's class later on but this field reference just to tell you that this field reference will control what fields you can see in mm01 transaction what fields are mandatory what fields are displayed only like that okay so we'll talk about the field reference later on and here you can see um uh, that's a reference type so don't worry about the refer reference type it can be just a reference if you want to make so just make it anything that doesn't matter really this one and here you have the x plant material status that means whenever you create a material so if i open existing material when you create a material or even in the existing material you can assign it a status okay so i'll, I'll discuss about the status before as well and in today's class later on i'll discuss this again so this is for something if you want to block a material okay for you you want to block 
there are different types of block you can put that we'll talk later on in today's class but whenever you create a material and by default you want to block it okay that means i'm creating a material in the business and i want this one to block by default okay there should be some block here by default in that case you can here enter a value for example whatever value you enter here so whatever value you enter here that will be the default one whenever a new material is created only okay so that's a default value and this one is default item category group usually we use norm here item category group okay this is a part of sd it's used in sap sd for the finding the sales order item category which is a separate topic so here it's we mo mostly use norm as a standard item so if you want to have every time you create a material you need to enter a value here or if you're using something most commonly then you can have a default value instead of entering every time when you create a material so that's a default value for the item category group <laughs> and uh, authorization group if you want to provide some authorization which is a part of SAP security we'll talk about SAP security later on in other topics uh, so that's authorization and with quantity structure that is used in FICO site okay so that's a FICO site for costing and all that and this one is external number assignment without check okay if you have press f1 here you can see more details here in the f1 screen but what that is system should not be checking the number range when it is external number assignment okay so system will not do any check what when you use external number assignment i'll talk about this one again in today's class in detail and uh, this one is initial status if i press f1 here this indicator specifies that the initial status of a batch is unrestricted is restricted that that's used in something called batch management okay so in batch management management it will be used so just make sure that i'm not changing the standard setting here and then this one is uh, material is configurable okay this this checkbox if you want to make this material as configurable material so again configurable material is a separate topic even it's a separate module in sap okay material f process if i press f1 here material master record for a process allow materials of the material type to be defined as a material for a process in which there may be core products okay so this is a part of sap pp production planning okay or process planning it will be used here in that case when they want to create a co-product okay that means when you're creating one product and some other product is coming out of it okay so like a scrap or some some other product okay so it's a, that's again a pp side pipeline mandatory that means if you want to use it in the pipeline so what is pipeline is pipeline is like uh, in your oil industry okay in electricity industry so if you want to creating materials for them that's a pipeline manufacture part if you press f1 here manufacture part is um, where for example here i'm i'm calling this product as laptop 3 okay however i want to create a new material type where we want to say that what is manufacturing is calling it my vendor is calling it i'm calling it laptop 3 probably my vendor may be calling it xyz 4 okay so if you want to create some other material types like xyz for whatever is called by my vendor in that case you will be creating a new material type and set it up as a manufacturer part that means with that material type so say i'm creating a z fert okay so with z fert and this is checked in the z fert and in that case i'll be creating the all the materials with the vendor specific name okay whatever they calling okay so that's for manufacture part number if you want to assign and then other important bits are um, this one if you want to allow the external purchase order okay so here you can see number one you have three options here either you can have zero which is no external purchase order allowed that means you cannot do the external procurement from the vendor number one is external procurement allowed but with warning two is external purchase order allowed okay so either not allowed or allowed or with allowed with warning okay and the other one is same thing but internal purchase order so what is internal purchase order sto within the same company like a plant transfer if you want to get sto whether you want to allow it or not you can control here 